What's up my THG family and welcome back to the channel. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So today we are at the Walmart and this Walmart, this particular Walmart is in Camden, South Carolina. They only have one um, and it's 21 minutes, 17 miles away from me um, where I'm staying with my sister. So I decided I will bring you over here because obviously I don't go to this Walmart. So I don't know what it's going to look like being it's the only Walmart in town. Hopefully, you know, it's not a bunch of people in there because I can't do it. But if it is, you'll see a really fast video because I'm going to do some really fast walking. <laughs> But how are y'all doing? I hope that you guys are staying safe. I hope that you are continuing to prep. Um, I am continuing to prep in my mind for what I need to do once we get moved. Our, we are on a countdown, you guys, um, right now. So we actually should be moving in next weekend yeah next weekend if all goes well if the closing goes well so the closing is on september 2nd um that we will be moving and yep <laughs> we got things set up um just talked to the electric company the water company well the water company said we have to wait until like the day before the power company um they did the information and got us set up for September 2nd. So I hope everything goes right. You know, I hope everything goes right. Um, so I'm about to go into the store. Um, Y'all continue to, you know, get what you can afford. Don't go out, break the bank. Don't spend your bill money, all of it up on that. You know, just set a little portion aside. If you don't want to do, you know, just a little bit of shopping at one time, just set that money aside. Well, this is for my preps. This is for my weekly shopping. And don't get your preps when you go out, if that's how you want to do it, if you want to build your money up for it. Um, it's just up to you how you decide to do it. No one's judging you. And, you know, well, some people do judge. Honestly, they do. But who cares, right? You do what you do for your household. Make sure your family has what they need, um, whether it's food, you know, the seasons are changing. We're going into fall um, in a matter of weeks. Honestly, maybe a week we'll be into fall. So the weather will be changing in certain areas. Um, think about that when you're doing your preps too, the items that you'll need for fall and winter and go ahead and start getting those things as well. So I will see you into, I will see you in the store, y'all. I'll see you in the store. And I also want to send a shout out to my husband. Today is his birthday. So happy birthday, babe. So what you're about to see when it comes to the meat department, they condense the meat area, the shelves down so that when they stock the meat on there, it looks like they have a full stock, but it's actually shortened up. And they did it for the beef, the pork, and the um, poultry. So this area right here has nothing in it. But their meats, they don't have chicken wings though. So, but they do have the thighs and things. That, oh no, here they go. Chicken wings right here, they are $14.34 for five pounds. I need some gizzards, but I don't see it. Meat is supposed to be in this section over here. But they have uh, yogurt and kids snacks over here. 
instead of meats. For the lactose milk, they're short, but the regular milk, they do have some in here. They just have some gaps. This is all the water they have right here. The great value. And then they got this uh, great value right here. I have some more here. You can see the pallets a little low, but they do have some water. Up top, this is what they have for the uh, gallon waters. It's a little snack areas, a little empty. Yeah. This is the chip owl. You can see the shortage at the bottom, a little bit at the top. Bottom. I'm trying to do pictures when I can and video when I can. It just depends on how many people are on the owl. Because I try not to go on owls that have a lot of people on them. So again, although they have product on the shelf, like you see the flour, you see the sugar, they condense those owls down. So it's really a shorter owl when it comes to how much sugar they have out there usually that sugar will spread down even further on the left also the seasonings were very low i had to get help from the guy to get something off the top shelf for me their um canned meats they did have a lot of canned meats in there but again they have shortened their owls down when it comes to what they have on it to make it look like it is fully stocked Hey y'all, I'm back. So I'm out the store. I got my goodie bag. So basically, you can see from the video, from the pictures and the little videos that I did shoot in there. I try not to shoot um videos on, you know, where it's like a lot of people or even a few people, honestly, because people be looking at you crazy sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But all in all, I did not expect, I thought maybe this store would have had more gaps, more bare shelves, more uh, empty shelves than it did. Now, I didn't walk through the whole store. I didn't go over to, um, what's on that side? The home and pharmacy area. I didn't go over there. I kind of stayed in the grocery area because I, I just figured, well, if the grocery area looks like it do, then that area probably will also. I hope you can still see me because I'm not in the shade. So what I got from the store was I just made, I just put some turkey wings in the crock pot before I left and I had added a can of my broth out of my pantry. So I said, well, let me replace that. And I got up, picked up another one. These were like 50 cent. I paid total $11 and 14 cents. And then I picked up, they really didn't have a lot of these flavored um, little drink things that you put in your water. Cause I don't, I like drinking water, but I don't like drinking plain water all the time. So, and this one, this one was more than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. This one was $1.98. And then this one was like uh, 90, no, this one was a dollar. And then I got two of the garlic powders because I'm totally out. I just used the last one I had with my turkey wings. I'm, I, I got those turkey wings in that crock pot, y'all. I seasoned them up real good and I added half water and then that can of broth and some adobe seasoning also. And then I got two of the onion because I used the last little bit of that too. And I just bought me like um, some little Werther's Originals for like a dollar. Um, 
and I'm about to head to my next location. Like I said, I spent $11.14. I really was looking for the broth and I was looking for the chicken, the, um, they they were good on that chicken. They were really good on that chicken in there. Although they had condensed that area down, I could tell it wasn't as long as it usually is. So that's why it looked like they had everything they needed honestly in that meat department because everything was condensed down usually the chicken will take up two or sometimes three little areas but they condensed it down to one so it looked like it was full same with the pork chops same with the um the beef and stuff like that that's what they did they really don't have a lot but it looks like they do so they're coming up with it y'all they're coming up with it so if you have not started your prepper pantry or you're still buying things for your prepper pantry don't stop and do start do start and don't stop on those things and you'll be okay you know you never know they had a hiring sign out there you never know if you're a grocery store i had a a subscriber that put into one of my other videos that she went to a store and the store actually was closed because they had no workers uh, not enough workers to open that store up and make it functional so you never know if that could happen where you are so better safe than sorry i'll see y'all in the next video y'all stay safe bye